Hey, what's up guys? This is Exodus Ablaze here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a Valorant-styled thumbnail. Now, I'm going to go step-by-step step and show you how I made this thumbnail here. All right, so we're going to go with these file settings here, 1920 by 1080 and 300 pixels per inch, and then leave all this the same, and we'll get started right there. Now, what you're going to want to do is start with a background, so you need to think about what you want to have in your background. Once you place your background, so what, so I found this background online. This is a Valorant background. So I didn't use the entire thing. This just helped me get a sense of the colors and, you know, just start building my thumbnail. So next we're gonna add our Phoenix character here. I'm gonna get him in a similar position. Um, let's put him a little bigger. Uh, right there, that's good. So we're not going to make the same exact thing, but we're going to do the same, same type of style. Alright. So we won't be replicating the thumbnail exactly, but we're going to get pretty close. So I think that looks good there. Now you're going to go to camera filter raw. This is what I do. Or camera raw filter, sorry. I like to go into this, tune up the colors and the, the sharpness of the image a little bit. So I just go into the basic settings here. Um, not gonna mess with exposure. Contrast, I always turn up to kind of make it, the darks a little darker and the lights a little lighter. So we'll turn the blacks down a little bit. Add some texture and clarity. Let's see, let's see what vibrance will do. Vibrance will make the colors a little bit brighter as well. Saturation does the same. So we'll turn those up a tiny bit. I think that's good. Then we'll go into detail, sharpen the image, and add some noise reduction. That'll make it a little more crisp, and I think that'll be good to go. You'll see here, the image will update a little bit. So now that the colors are a little more bold. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of a glow effect. But first, then I like to put on a little drop shadow to kind of separate the the character from the background a bit more. That's a little harsh. Distance. I just want a little bit. Let's go with 15. Okay, that works. So I know it doesn't look the best when you zoom in, but this isn't going to be super zoomed in. It's going to be like super small on YouTube. So I think that's going to work. So now that we have these two characters, we're going to put them on top of each other and then sandwich a layer in between those two layers. And we're going to make a glow effect. And we're going to do this by hand. I'm using a mouse to paint. Just do one little tap right there. That's good. And let's make the brush a little smaller. Do a glow effect like right there. Do a little bit more around his head. Just make it a little stronger. And then let's see, I go through the filters just to see if anything will look better. I don't think we're gonna go with any filters today though. So I might just turn it down and mess with the opacity. I just like to go through and mess with the settings just to see what is gonna look good. I think we're good to go on this. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So, what I then did is I took my pen tool. Give me... Let's just go with black for now so you can see. So, I divided the background. I made this little this shape here behind our character. I'm gonna make a shape. We're gonna put that shape behind all our other character parts here. And then I added a gradient to it. This gradient is saved, okay. So let's mess with this a bit. So we got like an orange. We got the, the two different colors here. We got the bright color of his, the yellow in the jacket. And then we've got the orange color from the jacket as well. So we'll grab that one. And then we're gonna grab, which one's gonna look good? Uh, I like the one we just had before. All right, so this is these are the colors we'll use for this. Now uh, I also I did another character overlay, 
So this third character overlay is going to go underneath everything except this shape here. So we've got this this character here. We're going to boost him up, and we're going to put a we're going to make this like overlay on top with a filter. So I like I like the positioning of this character here. Now what I'm going to do is give this an overlay layer. Right there, and then turn the opacity down a little bit so that it blends a little more. And now you've got something that kind of stands out. It'll draw the attention here, keep people looking. They'll see the character, then they see, oh, he's in the reflection. And it gives it more personality than just the shape there. Gives it a little more exciting to look at. So then uh, what I see with a lot of Valorant-themed things is they have the simple box design. So... Uh, I saw in a lot of Valorant thumbnails, people will make a stroke on the outside of the, the thumbnails. So there might be a better way to do this, but what I did is I took a rectangle. Uh, I turned that fill layer off, and then I turned the stroke layer on with the Valorant pink red. And then I just added the stroke like that. That looks good. And then I just dragged the corners into... The edge of the canvas here. Not exact. Let's get that. And then this one right here. So then I went ahead and did that. Then what I did was I put that underneath the character and the the layer there. This is where things get a little frustrating. There we go. Okay. So uh, where's this shape? There. We go. Come on. There. So I like to use logos wherever I can. So I have the Valorant logo here. We'll put that right in the corner. We don't want to, we want to leave space in this bottom right corner for YouTube thumbnails because that's where the timestamp goes. So we want to leave that open at all times so that people can see how long the video is and so that our design doesn't get blocked by that. So we got Valorant logo here. Now it's time for text. The font I'm using is called Evo Gria. You can find that font on defont.com. There will be a link in the description if you would like to use this font. But what I did is, let's say, I did how... Okay. Get rid of that. Is that gonna... Yeah. So I'm gonna triple click. That'll select everything. How to... Master. So I did how to master Phoenix. I think is the text we're going to use here. I don't play Valorant, so I don't know. I don't know anything about Valorant, really. I just know this character looks cool, and I like the design style, so I thought it would be something that I could make a video on. But, but anyway, we're going to grab the Valorant pink color here. Uh, the, Valor the, the UI for Valorant is really cool. I see their designs a lot, and it's, uh, it's very simple. So there's, there's not, like, a ton of crazy effects on the text or or any of the designs for for that matter so it was really really cool i like the simplistic uh minimalistic style they had so with this one i duplicated this text here and i'm gonna put phoenix now that's a little bigger than i would like so i'm gonna do Control t and shrink that down just a tad. I want it to all look like it's the same size as much as possible. Uh, here I'm going to apply that gradient to this Phoenix layer. So we use the same gradient we use on the other ones. Got it saved right there. So there's that. Now, um, this smoke here, this is something... I like, to, I like to overlay my characters over the text as much as I can to create a sense of depth and really highlight the character first. So I'm going to drag my text layer uh, behind the phoenix layer there. And yeah, you can't really read it though. So this is, this is the point where I take all my text and I'm going to move that because it's not clear. So let me select all my text. Shrink it down a bit and move it. I can either move it completely out of the way or just enough so that you can still see the X 
but it the character is still overlaying because I really like that look on thumbnails. It makes it pop. So yeah. So I don't I don't like how this um this little square in the background is kind of messing with the it's like getting too close to the text. So I'm gonna scale this up and get rid of all those squares and then I'll add those squares in manually. So what I did with uh, this thumbnail is I created these squares and rectangles by hand and just placed them around. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's get our square tool. I'll select this color. Hold shift to make it uh, symmetrical. And we got a square there. I'm going to select the color again for the fill. Or not the fill, the stroke fill. And then the normal fill will turn to nothing. This little X here. And let's do like 14. Oh, that's two. That's 140. Okay. Try 11. Okay. 11 works. So put that there. And then we're going to make a, a long rectangle. That needs to have a fill though, and not a stroke. And then I'm gonna make that a little more thin. Right there. And then we're just gonna place them randomly, kinda. So let me spin that, shrink this down a bit. Let's see, how does that look? How'd I do it here? Okay, I didn't do any horizontal or vertical ones. Got a little closer. Then I just kind of copy pasted these all over. I don't want that. I, I'm trying to uh, not get things too close to my main elements. So we have text The people are going to see the text. They want to look at the character and I don't want these distracting them from the character. So I kind of want to either have it right behind him so he's like in front of it or I want to have it away from him so it's not like close because when you look at his face then you're drawn over here. So I want to keep this. This is going to go behind him. This will also go behind him somewhere. That's a little too close. So I'm going to leave that there. Shrink this down a tad. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That is how you can make a Valorant styled thumbnail in Photoshop. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. You can also join my Discord if you have a lot of questions and need like visual support. I can help you as well. Um, yeah, this is just a quick little video tutorial. I want to do more of these and do more in-depth videos, but I, I need to know what you guys want to see. So make sure to drop a comment and tell me what kind of things you want to learn how to make, what kind of designs, what kind of game styles. Uh, I want to do more Valorant stuff because I like the design. I like some of the character designs, so I think those will be fun to work with. But um, yeah, hopefully this video does well and you guys would like to see more of this. So if you do want to see more of this, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and share with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe to see other videos. I do a lot of uh, drawing and design tutorials, and yeah. I want to do more of those, so hopefully you guys will, will support that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for supporting, and I hope to see you in the next one.